I'm Colin and Justin are back, and today we're bringing pages to life from their new book, Escapeology, Modern Cabins, Cottages, and Retreats. Guys, you want it to be part coffee table book, part handbook by explaining what we're looking at so we can be inspired to get the look ourselves, which I love. So you have three looks for us now, inspired by three of your favorite looks in the book. Absolutely correct, Tracy. For us, it was critical that the book wasn't just an assembly of pretty pictures, that there would be bags and bags of inspiration and information in there as well to drive audiences from ambition to realization. So whether you're actually going to get a cottage and make it happen or just be inspired by some of our ideas in your back split or your condo, or your townhome, whatever. So property number one, I know they say you're not meant to have favorites, but I love the VIP shelter. Now, the VIP shelter is this incredible steel and glass structure. It's really rectilinear, but it's actually very, very small. And it's positioned smack dab in the middle of a forest in Sweden, right beside an incredible lake. I love the simplicity of it. It's not a steer. It might initially make you think that it's quite hard edged, but it's actually really relaxing and it makes a real statement. But remember, size is everything. It's compact, but perfectly formed. <laughs> exactly, and if you're gonna be inspired by a cabin in Sweden, you might as well hit Ikea. Uh, we got these pieces from there and we were inspired first by the steel to actually use this beautiful storage system here that's clad in perforated steel so we get a bit of the whole metal in there love that monochrome was a color scheme that actually features in the VIP shelter as well and it's incredible when you see black and white and glass in a natural environment you know you actually bring something without color per se into a really natural leafy environment it totally sings so that was the inspiration behind this entire look I really love this you know it's interesting Interesting. The word VIP comes from the VIP bin, which is now considered a design classic. It's a jet black pedal operated bin from the mid 50s. And now it's been reborn by the same company. And that word VIP has been applied to so many design sensibilities and things. And the cabin, the VIP shelter is just one of them. I absolutely love it. It's paired back. It's less is more, but it's really relaxing. And those views, Tracy, you stand inside that cabin and you look at that great big expanse of fenestration all the way out to that lovely suite. Lake. Absolutely gorgeous, and I love that history as well. Thank you for that. Now it's beautiful. What's your next inspiration? Okay, well, look, it's blonde, so it's got to be Scandinavian. Now, our next cabin is the cabin at Norderhof. Now, this is in Norway, and I love this particular cabin because it's a game of two halves. From the outside, it's very dark. There's not a lot of windows on display because they all face the lake. So if you approach it from behind, there's the odd window, but it seems to just kind of disappear, and it's a great, great shape. When you look inside, though, it's totally blonde timber 101. Just acres of amazing blonde timber it is this kind of scandinavian fantasy and you know what we've actually found this i love this tracy i just want to point this out to you we picked this up at a charity auction for five dollars it's handmade we don't know the provenance of it we've actually folded it in half to show you here because it's about 10 feet long <laughs> but i love that if anybody watching the show knows what this is all about please let us know because we'd love to take that information on board but again it made sense to go to i Care to get everything that you can see here because they really understand that lovely that lovely European sensibility. So we've got a great trolley at the back. Now, this is really, really fantastic because it's made of solid wood on the top, but to make it really affordable, they've used some composites as well as you go down. But I love the fact that there's storage underneath there. Everything's about order and precise organization. Maybe you want to put two of those together to give yourself a big long credenza that you could or a big long uh, console table that you can split apart and take around when you need it. Love the table as well. It's almost like an air call table. Do you know it's got that same feel, the softly amorphic edge, that lovely rounded shape. And again, it's fantastically strong and sturdy. The legs are slightly splayed, so it's got that mid-century feel as well. I love the fact that it's so uncluttered and so simple. I'm really starting to embrace that lovely sort of Scandi-inspired blonde wood, and that is what we're seeing in that vignette. And it's gorgeous and it's calming. Okay, so what do you have for us next? 
Well, next we have an amazing house. It's in Montana. It's called The Bunker. And you know, it's really, it's got that whole kind of like cowboy style. It's got a great personality. This house probably is one of the most personal properties I've ever seen. Talk about a house reflecting the personality of the occupants. I love it. You know, but sometimes you look at something like that that's so strong and you think, okay, well, I am not that person. But maybe you can isolate certain things that they do in their rooms and think, okay, that is something I can do. And that's what we've done in this final little look here. We've got a chaise long there because chaise longs are probably for me the ultimate escapist piece. They're kind of greedy, you know, they're designed for one person. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have one person on there and they just take, you take a little corner, a dead corner, put a little chaise in there and suddenly it is relaxation central. Don't feel that you've got to be you've got to take every single part of it. You've got to think about the bits that are relevant to you. So here, for example, it's all about comfort. Can't you just imagine the end of a busy day? You're decompressing to the max. You're splayed out on this lovely chaise long. You've got the <laughs> light behind there directing down on that really wonderful book that you're reading. You've got a table here. Who cares about coffee when you can have a glass of red wine, Tracy? Come on! <laughs> or a bottle of red wine. All of that stuff. And again, we found another wall hanging. Now, this this one's different to that one. This is an old handmade piece. This is a lovely piece that we found in HomeSense. And I love that as well. I love the texture, the shaggy wool down there. And lots of plants, you know, in that particular home that we're talking about at the moment, they had plants everywhere. So we've taken inspiration with the big figs and the big plants and all about the texture. And you don't have to break the bank, you know. There's so many ways now to find good horticulture for your home. Whether real or if you're feeling very, very lazy and not at all green thumb then you can get good plastic plants. We've said this a million times. We call those permanent botanicals. They'll last forever, <laughs> however inept you are. So relaxation is the order of the day. Take indulgence where you can from the pages of Escapology and build a cabin or a home or a backsplit or a condo of your dreams.